and a tremendous ovation and well deserved for Matthew Knight, the captain and two time best and fairest and all Australian player. Indeed it is, Ed, and I think clubs have got much better at this sort of thing. Farewelling their legends, and uh, let's put aside the fact that perhaps he wasn't that keen to go. Once the decision has been made, he will be fully supportive of this Richmond Footy Club from this point forward. And it's great to see his captain and long time teammate alongside him. And just a wonderful opportunity for these blokes who have had a very ordinary season to put their head up and say, right up to our knights in shining armour, you are a true Tiger legend and we'll show you how tonight. Not often, Ed, do I get amused at the football, but Richmond have actually made me giggle tonight. I've never seen such a pathetic performance by a bunch of blokes who are getting paid to be professionals in my life. And if I was the Richmond football team, the players, I'd take the match committee into a room and I'd smack them around the head. If that's as good as they can do, if they're trying to account for measured football, God help Colo, Colo and Leeds who are here watching this. The Chileans have never seen grass before, let alone a game like this. This is frightening stuff from a team that aspires actually to get off the bottom of the ladder. I have watched them intently, Ed, because uh, I'm very serious about football. They have made more mistakes, uh, clangor after clangor. That means you actually just unforced errors, uh, that is called in tennis. And they have made 28 of them. 28. They cannot find someone in the same coloured jumper to kick the ball to. And they religiously, religiously ignore Richardson and Ottens. We say this every week. They do not look for them. They don't even try and look for them. And when they do kick it to them, invariably, they'll actually take a mark. Uh, frightening stuff. I don't know if that's a responsibility of the players or a responsibility of the people who run the players, and that is the coaching staff. But if you are a Richmond supporter, fair dinkum, you would, well, you'd have to laugh because it is just staggering. They go round and round in circles like the proverbial bird. They uh, kick it wide and short when they should kick it long. They do exactly the opposite when they uh, should play measured football. There's Gasper kicking the ball down to... Uh, that, incidentally, might, you might say Richardson wasn't there in time, but that was his third lead. He had made one out to the right and one up the centre of the ground and then decided he'd had enough. And I tell you what, it is just unbelievable. And uh, Richmond should not be in this game due to some unbelievable kicking. The highlight of this game has been so far when Darren Gasper hit the tall timber to reg register behind. Uh, Dennis Cometti said, Gasper, the unfriendly post. That is the highlight of the game. <laughs> it is too, don't worry. <laughs> Fair well, I mean, when you look at it, it's 28 to 12, the, the clang is. It was 13-1. It became contagious. The Bombers 15-11 in the second. 28 turnovers. That's the equivalent of three very good players. It is more the point why, Ed. It goes on and on and on. We watch it week after week. We are experts, of course, because we don't play anymore, and we've got a lot better since we stopped playing. But anyone could sit up here and just watch this side self-immolate. They're almost going to set fire to themselves and disappear. Here. They're going to implode. Rogers wants to go. Rogers deep in his own It'll defensive work. area. Gaspar in midfield, unchecked. Kicks inside the 50. Back goes Richardson. And he's taken the mark 10 metres in from the boundary. Going at his second, Richardson. Watch it. Not a bad effort. The umpire's gone a fair way. I oh. think it is a goal. It is. Three points the difference. Clock is running, we're down to 15 seconds. Ottens will send it in. A chance for the lead for the Tigers. Hangs in the air a long time. Oh. Stafford almost. Found it on the deck, Stafford. Snaps. Oh. Tigers lead. Tigers in front. His second. He is a handful this quarter, Greg Stafford. He's known what to do up there. Placed himself in front. Four disposals, two and two for him. But he has been a real headache. Siren has gone. Tigers hit the front by three points. Will Danny Pauly take him down to the cheer squad? We'll talk to Jared Healy right after this. What a game! Well, they've got to get this boat bandaged up and get him back out on the ground as soon as they can. It's an accident here, just like just a, a knee the head. blow to the head from uh, Peveril's knee, but get him out. What have we got? Uh, 18 minutes in here, so still plenty of time. And really... He may very well be the difference. Come back, bandaged up. Oh, it's hey. the script has been written. That's the comic book eyes. stuff, isn't it? Eh? Six and a half minutes of game time left. Boundary line throw-ins are like a centering kick. Ty Zantuck, very good. Stood shoulder to shoulder with Barnard and stood his ground. Knights. 342. Bombers by a point. Throw in. Salmon's got it! Salmon has kicked the goal! Bombers by seven points!
Had to give a uh, spotlight. Watch this. Salmon strength. Pinched it. What a timely goal. Not only in the night, but perhaps in the season. Buttons knocks it down. Salmon again. Lumfield hooks it towards half forward. Campbell in front takes the mark. So the clock now, the enemy of the Tigers. Goes out wide. There's still time enough. Gaspar's kick. Not particularly good. Kellaway did well. Gaspar, long bomb. Stafford! He's a safe kick, but he, he wants to get it. Yeah, I did too. But he wants to get it through within the next 30 seconds. He got separated from Jacobs there. Beautiful split. Greg Stafford lining up for his third. Kicks from 20. Boom! That kick had eyes. It's a goal. in front Johnson tries to crash through Callaway tries to get the kick out King goes over the top Johnson got the handball out but it's all Tigers they can lay it off here through Fiora they do have to Campbell Campbell looks Good wide kick. the kick is out wide and Callaway has to camp underneath it now the race is on tired legs running for the ball that Andrew Callaway handballs to brother Duncan who falls over they're playing like they did in the backyard now it's back to the brother again King going forward the kick is a half volley Beats everyone. Gasper handles off the Coglin. Coglin finds some space where there was none. 55 out. He kicks long. Salmon gets back for the Bombers. Fish takes the mark. No, goes to ground. Gets the handball away. Inside two minutes remaining, and Lucas clears for the Bombers. Matthew Lloyd slows things down. Hard against the boundary line. Working overtime. Danny Frawley. Jason Johnson. A point the difference. Essendon season oh. could well ride on the next 90 seconds. Zanta, King, got it to Rogers, goes with the outside of the boot, down towards half forward. Duncan Kellaway head down, and this is a very good Ooh. result for Essendon. Big clearance this situation here. Look at the time, just over a minute. And Essendon starting to throw numbers down, as you'd expect. Only four players in their forward half. Salmon. Battles with Ottens, Good who hit. directs it down to Rogers. Here come the Tigers. Rogers sets it up. Long inside the 50. Up was oh. Lucas to knock it down. Oh. Carousella in the right spot. Chips to the pocket. Jacobs has got it. We hit a minute. And Jacobs Good hits hit. the boundary. Good a minute right, to go. Right. Just less. The clock stops at 58. Oh, Bombers 54. Richmond 53. Oh. All right. Would like to hang on to it, maybe, Danny Jacobs. 58 seconds remaining. Bombers by a point. This sensational team from Windy Hill, but it comes down to Tivendale. Squeeze it. Guess who? It's Pettifer. <laughs> <laughs> Pettifer's got the ball. He kicks to guess who? Richo goes up. He can't take the mark. At the fall of the ball. Here's a chance for Coughlin. Taken down. And Johnson's been fantastic tonight. Mark Johnson kicks it out. The Bombers have got the run. Bolton holds it up. Good head. Inside 30. They're going to hang on. You think the maybe from here that is a good head from Bolton because when you're running with momentum and there's a lot of emotion in it the temptation is to keep going like Jacobs did earlier well this is the kick for the night all he has to do is hit a target here or make sure he doesn't turn it over and the Bombers are going to hang on here inside 10 seconds the Bombers by one point Handball's off and Carousella says, thank goodness for that, and Essendon, hang on. Well, against the odds in the end, this has been a fantastic, hard-fought victory for the Bombers. Not one for Kevin Chidio's video collection, but I'll tell you what, the four points go back to Windy Hill, and Danny Frawley says it all for the Tigers. They've won kicking two goals in the second half, Ed. They have indeed, in fact... Three goals since, well, the three goals came one minute 50 into the second quarter and then four minutes oh. and 22 minutes into the final quarter. Matthew Knights doesn't get the dream ending that he'd hoped for. He's with Tony Jones. Thanks very much, Eddie. Well, um, unfortunately not the Tiger song, but, uh, geez, the boys gave it their best shot. As Paul Salmon comes over now and uh, congratulates Matty Knights. Matty, uh, just, uh, it was just ripper stuff out there. Yeah, the boys with three or four goals down. And yeah, we... They really, really turned the heat up, the boys, for me. They, they fucking, they chased, they scratched, they clawed, and we got back into the game, and we just couldn't finish off, you know. Uh, Bombers, to their credit, they had on tough too, but, you know, I'm just proud to play my last game for this great club. 
ever since 1988 I've embraced the club. And I really do love this club and I think this club is going places even though we've lost our last seven or eight. It is going places and uh, disappointing to lose but uh, the boys had a real crack for it because it really is.